Hi, this is Innovavitics Interface to Web Based Interface. We your username, your password, you log in, then you have to specify your uh, location, country location. This is very important from an export control and an director property management. The first thing that we define, we have to define in Innovavitics is the what we call the organization structure, in which we define the, the company, the uh, business units, the subsidiaries, the, the people, the locations, the programs and the projects. So a program is a set of projects and then with the program you can see a lot of projects. So here we'll see in another example after about projects. The uh, company will have business units like we said, we have uh, people. So everyone is created in the system uh, with all his uh, personal information. The, we can create companies for customers and for suppliers too. And for those uh, customer suppliers, we create their employees in the system. So as we see here, we have customer one, supplier one, and we can filter them by uh, based on their type. So the this is one important thing that we define. We have to define it as uh, master data in the system, which will be consumed by every uh, process. Now we look at this example of program in which we have many projects, uh, analysis simulation project, architecture project, contract management project, etc. And we can see uh, we have can access to many information such as metrics per project. So the program manager will have his pieces as a dashboard and uh, he can see where each project is. And each project will is a subset of uh, tasks and uh, people assigned to those tasks, etc. And we'll see in detail this. Uh, the we have project milestones, so we have project deliverables. We have uh, many information related to the projects. In this case, what you see on the screen, we have a contract management project with a start date with an end date. And the for this project, we can access to the. Uh, to the properties, to the uh, we can have a schedule, a project schedule. We can see a lot of information. Uh, the, let's see uh, the example of the uh, architecture project. In this power view, what we call power view, we have the many information such as the this example of you know every design, the every uh, design phase, the design phase. Those are key. Uh, uh, tasks or gates defined here. We can access to many information like meetings, uh, uh, cost information, schedule, gun chart, etc. Here, what we'll be looking at is the schedule of the project. We can we have exactly similar view like MS project in which we, we can see the, the different tasks and the, the deliverables uh, within the project. And this is live connection to the to the deliverables of the project that we're talking here about the unique database so we don't need to enter manually those those information to generate the, the Gantt chart is automatically generated by the system. We have a connection integration with the uh, MS project so we can export the, the project to the MS project file and uh, have a bidirectional connection. So in this example when we have Microsoft project it's connected to directly, and we can log out. It's connected directly to Innovia, and if we change anything in MS project, it is automatically pushed to Innovia. We can have project folders, or uh, what's called them workspace folders. We use them to reorganize the data. So this is uh, usually seen in for all the basically the uh, project management tools. We can access to the cost information. We have a risk management and issue management capability here. So everything is connected again to the project. So we don't need another tool or another process. So, uh, so we can access to issues, to risks, to everything. Benefits, the budget, the project members. We can access the project members. The and every what like we said upfront. So all this information is centralized. So it's not manual in the entry. We can have a workload uh, calculation of all the resources associated to a specific project. In this case, we see a couple of users. 
with their tasks and to which project they are assigned to. The, we can access to the, what we call them, folder deliverables, uh, project deliverables, which are key things that indicates that you have to, uh, they define the entry of the exit criteria of, uh, of the project case. We can, uh, now we can add people to project, we can assign people, select people, and uh, et cetera. And we can have a calculation of the resource loading uh, on a weekly basis, monthly basis, or uh, within an interval, within a period of time. Now the system automatically generates uh, workload for all the resources, whatever the project they're working on. So we don't need to have uh, to look at different MS project files and uh, define who's working on what and what's the uh, what is workload. So it's, the system will do that automatically by itself. The so this is basic and that's why upfront what we said we have to define what they call organization structure. We put the foundation for that and then for all the processes uh, we like project management that we saw here it will be automatically generated.